Today, I want to show you some of the widgets which can be used in early years lessons. If we go into the widget bank, we can search for Picture Painter and add it to our page. Deselect by clicking anywhere on the page and click on the next arrow to see the pictures available. I'll select the dog for this picture. Clicking on the paint tin, we can choose a colour, make it lighter or darker using the slider and fill in different areas of the picture with a single click. If we change our minds at any time, we can select the eraser tool. At the moment, we are using the fill tool, but we can change this to the paintbrush tool like so, selecting the color, transparency and brush size. Using this, I will draw some grass for our dog to stand on. If at any time we want to start again, we can click on the reset button. I'm happy with my picture, so I'll click on the flag icon to choose a frame for my picture along with the title and I can enter my name here. I can also print my picture out if I wish. When finished, we can delete this widget from the page and I can show you a new activity, Picture Sudoku. After adding this to the page, we can click Let's Play and choose a category. We'll go for Sea Creatures. When we click on the box within the game, the first creature, a shark, appears. To scroll through the creatures available, keep clicking within the box until you reach the one you need. We can check the answers at any time and clear them if we have any wrong. When we get all the answers correct, a well done screen will appear. From here we can choose to start a new puzzle or return to the menu. Next we'll try a matching pairs activity. Select this from the widget bank and add it to your page. Deselect and click on the arrow. I'll go for a ready-made game. and I want the colours category. We can check how we're doing at any time by clicking on the check answers icon. There is also the option to time how long it takes to complete the task. To do this, click on the top left corner and we can start again.
a congratulations screen will appear if we get all the answers correct. From here we can try a different game or create our own game by typing in our own pairs of matching words. Lastly, we'll play First Contact by selecting it from the widget bank. This is a simple memory game. Click on Let's Play and see that the green panel lights up. It's now our go, so we hit the red panel. A sequence builds up which we can copy. If we get the sequence right, the panel flashes green around the edge, or red if we get it wrong. The sequences get harder the more you get right. So let's see how we get on.